It's, it's interesting to me to see a guy like you with a very positive mindset and this new sort of appreciation for your faith and that you're, 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 you're showing great benefits from it. There's times when people – do you know the story of Oliver Anthony? Do you know who Oliver Anthony is? No, I don't. He's this guy who's the number one song in the country, and uh, he recorded it in his backyard in Is Virginia. this the red-haired kid we're talking about? Yes. Oh, yeah. I- so this guy gave himself to Christ like 30 days ago. And, wow. and was having all sorts of problems with substance abuse and the normal chaos and hit rock bottom. And, uh, and like, I don't, I, won't, I don't want to speak for him. I don't know what he actually said. But it was something to the tune of, please, God, if you can straighten my life, if you could just straighten my life out, I will, I will dedicate myself to you. And I will, I'll be on the right track. And then 30 days later. He, wow, he's clean, and he hits with this insane song. Do you know the song? Yeah, yeah. Play that song, Jamie, because this song is insane. And this guy doesn't have a label. He's not attached. He won't sign anything. People are trying to get him to sign things. They're offering him, like, millions of dollars. And he's like, you know, nope, 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 I'm not signing shit. I'm, I'm going to be Probably myself and be independent. better be yourself. Listen to this. Yeah, this is amazing. What the world's gotten to For people like me People like you Wish I could just wake up And it not be true But it is It's such a simple song Yeah With just What is that What kind of instrument is that That's not a banjo right It's a guitar no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a guitar He's got a capo on it He's playing way high up on the neck That's a D If that was where it normally was It's playing an A minor A C A G and, and that's a D there that he's playing. Does that metal thing where it's, he's strumming behind it, does that change the tone? Yeah, it does. It makes it a little more banjo-esque. Yeah. Right. But yeah, he's got that capo halfway up the neck because his, his voice is a lot higher. Isn't it crazy that just this guy and the guitar, just singing, just captivates people? That's well, amazing, right? It's amazing. But this is another example of a guy who just like hits rock bottom fully all in well he's and saying then, he's saying what people think man yeah he is yeah. and the people are freaking out like trying to attack him and trying to figure out what's wrong with him what's wrong with him this guy's probably got a shady past like right. can't people just <laughs> can't people just ever just appreciate someone's thing that they put out there can't they just appreciate that why don't they just appreciate how about not things? judging people how about just well, from this moment forward moving forward some people should be judged there's a lot of criminals out there I'm not saying we shouldn't judge. Uh, I just think we should be more charitable. And when someone just puts out a beautiful song like that, you should go, that's a beautiful song. Just enjoy it. Why can't we just enjoy things? (laughs) Why is everybody, you know? True words. Yeah. I mean, uh, if people really lived like Christians, it would be probably a better place for most folks. You know? I agree. When you uh, go to church now, is it chaos? Does everybody try to get selfies? Like, what's that like? No, man, it's <laughs> it's really cool. Um, I go to Indian Rocks Christian Church with with Sky. Sky Sky's my girlfriend. You shouldn't thing. probably tell people where you go to church because they're going to go to church with the Hulkster. No. Hulk I want more people. Wild. I want more people there. Indian All right, Rocks well, you're going to get it. They're coming. Yeah, Pastor Aaron's my boy, man. He he it's needs nice. to be he needs to be tested. <laughs> and uh, her son goes to one of her sons goes to Indian Rocks Christian, so we go there every Sunday and uh, really look forward to it. You know, it's just uh, kind of like it's something that you don't let go of. A lot of people plug in and plug out, but it, it I don't plug out. Once I'm plugged in, I'm I'm there. You know, because I've seen it change a lot of people. A lot of people. There's also some real power to a bunch of people getting together to agree that they're there to be a better person. In the eyes of God, yeah. there's something there's something very powerful about that. A group of everybody that meets together in the community at a certain time, dresses nice, and just all agrees that we're here to try to be a better person in the yeah. eyes of God. I've seen it change people. The brother that is responsible for this shirt, the John three sixteen devotional team, Mel Chancy. He was the president of the Chicago Hell's Angels. Um, 
for years. Mm -hmm. You only got Zito in New York. Yeah. You know, and Mel was the president of the club in Chicago. And, you know, knew him very well back in the day. And when I go to Chicago, it would be, you know, ripping and running. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Mel did about nine years, you know, and uh, a bunch of stuff. Rico stuff and all kind of craziness. Uh oh. And actually, when Mel came out, he tried to get a hold of me. I had second thoughts going, whoa, what's up with the brother here, you know? Right. I haven't seen him for a while, you know? And one of the last times I saw him, you could probably pull it up, is when we were in Knoxville and I had the Hells Angels circling the ring on their Harleys. You know, they said I didn't have any backup, and so I made a phone call because I, I got a bunch of friends back in the day that were in the club, and so they all showed up in, in Knoxville, and that's the last time I saw Mel before he went away. And, uh, and he came out, you know, and um, I, people sent me a couple of messages. He was out, and I'm going, oh, my God, here we go again. Here we go again. And so all of a sudden we hooked up and, and touched base. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah this oh, is this was there the on the shit. left. I think Mel's on the right. I mean, this is peak heel Hogan, bad guy. Oh, yeah, we, we were <laughs> evil went from people. the best good guy to the best bad guy. Yeah. Oh, we were talking about that when we were getting coffee. That um, oh, that was your idea to turn heel. Oh, let me, let me please, just finish, let me just finish the story. And now Mel comes out of prison, and dude, he's he's been saved. He's accepted Christ as a savior. Yeah, there's Big Mel right there. But anyway, you know, I have these Jesus Callings book. I have a I have a Bible in the kitchen. I have two in my office. I have one upstairs in my bathroom because I can't really stand and. Stand, stand for like brushing my teeth and one thing's one thing, but when I pull the ponytail out and I got these these fake hair extensions, so I look like Hulk Hogan, you know, right. with the blonde hair hangs down, I'm trying to straighten these hair extensions out and do whatever I'm doing. I have a chair, you know, that I kind of kind of sit there and have this uh, all my Bibles and stuff, and I have Jesus Calling and different books, and the Jesus Calling has a morning and afternoon message, you know. So I read this one, man. I said, you know what? That's perfect. I'll call Big Mel up. I said, I know you got social media, Mel. I want you to go on and read this today, you know. So Big Mel, he goes, he goes, I don't know. I said, he goes, you read it. I said, no, you read it. You know, we went back and forth a little bit. So he actually read it. Now he's got this huge following. And you can, I guess I don't know how you do it. You Google him or something on Instagram. But he's got this huge uh, John 316 devotional. Just people all over the world are following him. And he, he puts the word out every Sunday. So I've seen people change, brother. From being mm. straight out enforcers, badass, crazy people to, to being, you know, people that walk one with Christ.